Hello everyone, welcome back. Today let's solve the 21st interview question from Need Code SQL 15 interview question. They are given a table called delivery, uh, so which has the information about delivery ID. Um, let's say customer orders some product, right? So it will have a, a delivery ID uh, and the customer ID and when the customer ordered that product and then when he preferred to deliver that product. So here uh, a customer could have a chance that he can, if he places the order on the same day and then he wants the delivery to be on the same date, it, it is, it, it's called uh, immediate delivery. If it is, he, he schedules the date, let's say he wants to, uh, he ordered today, but he wants the product to be delivered at, at his place, maybe after two days or next day. So that is called schedule. So what they're asking is, they're asking us to write a solution to, uh, to find out uh, the people who who ordered the product uh, first and they ordered um, as a uh, immediate delivery so um, in, in in summary so they are asking us to percentage of the uh, products percentage of the products which are uh, scheduled to be delivered immediately and that's the first order so that is what they are asking us there are two condition order should be first uh, order and it should be tagged as uh, deliver immediately. So it has two parts. Again, I repeat, the first part is to, it should be immediate order. Basically, you order and then you want the order to be delivered on the same day. That's one thing. And the order should be the first order. The customer, if you see here, the customer one, uh, this is the second order for the customer one. And he is asking us to deliver on the same day. No, we don't need this. So we need to capture information like this. So he ordered on this uh, on, on, on August 2 on 19, uh, 2019 and then he wanted on the same day. So we need the people like this. So they wanted to have the percentage of those, those, those orders who ordered on the same day. So let's, let's break this into uh, two part. So let's have, so basically our first, uh, first condition is the order day should be same as preferred delivery date. So that's the first condition. So let's write the code. So and then they need the average, right? So select order date should be equal to preferred delivery date. As let's say they are asking us to answer immediate uh, percentage, right? Immediate percentage from the delivery table. So let's see what we get. So we'll, we'll identify the users who ordered on the same day. So here, if you see, uh, there are basically uh, seven orders, and out of seven orders, three orders, um, one, two, three, they tagged for immediate delivery. For example, let's say this order, order date and delivery date is same, and um, this order, one, two, three, four, fourth order fourth order is also the same and a seventh order is also same. So they are asking us to have these values. The percentage, how do I how do I calculate? So basically they are asking us to let's let's comment it. They are asking in this context if I calculate the percentage, immediate delivery percentage, immediate delivery percentage if I see there are three orders who uh, order on the same day but uh, out of seven seven orders. So if I calculate this so I will get, let's comment that and then run it. So in this case, in this case, if I look at this, in this case, it, it will be, I think, let's see what we get. We get as a 0.42. So, but this contains information about product who, which are ordered on the same day, uh, which are scheduled on the same day and then could be scheduled on the next day or uh, any, any other day. So this is not they are asking us. They are asking us to have the users who ordered and the scheduled date is also same. So that's where the second part of the query comes in so we got we got all the uh, basically we got the uh, uh, so we got the people of uh, order and uh, order date and schedule date is same that's we got it but now next is the it should be the first order that is the second part uh, let's let's have this let's uh, let me comment this so let's calculate the average this is what they're asking us to calculate the average let's see what we get I, I will get I'll mark this as average so we should we should give me the same as this 
okay they're asking also round round of uh, i think they're also asking us to percentage right multiplied by 100 i'll, I'll do two round of two this gives me point uh, 42 which has where order date is same as uh, delivery date now next condition is it should be the first order let's let's debug the query here so it should be the first order so if you see this user he ordered on uh, 1st august and he asked the first order first order for the user one is he ordered on the 1st august and then he asked us to deliver on the second second day so which is not we don't need this we don't need this uh, uh, this this is the first order so the first order is this second time he ordered we don't consider this this we, we exclude from our uh, analysis we need only the first order uh, for the user second is the second uh, so he ordered on the second day and then uh, second day of august and he asked us to deliver the product on the same day so this we consider it is immediate we need this immediate okay so one all right one we got it so total two out of two users this is the one user and let's see this is not we don't consider because the first order is the previous day previous one third let's say third third user th if you see this there is a little confusion here so the first order for the third user is this so he ordered on 21st august this is the first order this is the second order if you see this is the second order so we have to take the first order first order for this user is he scheduled for the next day he ordered on the first 21st and he scheduled for the next day so we don't need uh, this order so we have to skip this and let's say the fourth uh, user fourth user he ordered on the 9th 9th of august and then he wants the same day so basically one plus one two divided by totally four users right two divided by four which is what which is 50 percent that's the answer if you see here that's the answer they are asking you so now what we have to do is we have to find out for each user you have to find out the minimum date so if you see the, this user has two dates this user has a two dates right so this has a two date but we have to find out the minimum order so here we we, we got it the order date should be say equal to schedule uh, the when the, the scheduled date so which we got it now uh, but it contains all the users right of uh, i mean all the orders of all the users we need the first order of each user that how do i get the first order of each user so i'll i'll mark this i'll remove this all right so select customer id customer id and order date the first order i need the order date from it's very easy it's marked as medium but if you break down this uh, it's very easy so group by group by customer id here if I, i'll get all the all the dates in the form of list from the date for each customer i'll get all the dates as a list from that list i need the minimum date this gives me the first order the first order each user has placed so if you see here so you will get for all the user the first order uh, first order for this user is if you see here this is the first order for the user one first date order date minimum date and now again if you see here uh, for user two it is this is the same he ordered on the same uh, day order date and this we need in the numerator these two uh, this will not come in numerator and user three is a three the order date this is the, the first order date where this product deliver id is ordered on the same day and then he wanted on the same delivery uh, uh, you know he doesn't want on the same date he want in the next day so here there are two two cases right two users if you see the if you understand this again you will get more detail uh, basically for each user we'll get when he wanted the uh, for each customer we get the minimum date so we just have to from here we get for all the users where order date is equal to uh, delivery date uh, but from this we get minimum order date right so what i'll what i'll do is i'll just tie back this these two queries where i'll say 
here is it's giving me all the you all the all the records right here it is giving me all the records wherever there is a match uh, divided by all the records uh, i need now the minimum i'll just say where where uh, customer id and order date so maybe i'll, I'll say uh, this as order date all right so i'll need from these two this is little new uh, for you maybe if you are uh, if you if you are using left join or some other other cases this we need to put this in in, in may, maybe you must have done for with with only one column so this for two columns also you can do but you have to put in in the form of brackets if i if i remove this bracket and then run it uh, where select uh, this uh, customer id and order date in uh, in in comes here right so i want to select the customers and minimum uh, minimum uh, order date from here so this gives me the full solution this gives the minimum order date for each customer this gives me where the order date is same as customer uh, uh, delivery date so this is what the solution is this is what they are asking us so this gives us the uh, understanding of uh, in sub queries as well so this is the sub query within within outside query and the new part is you can join uh, you can you can look for two keys but you have to put uh, in in the, in the brackets this is how you can calculate simple simple it's a medium question uh, but if you visualize it it, it looks uh, simpler uh, here we are calculating where the order date is uh, same as delivery date uh, for all the for all the uh, users for all the all the users uh, for all the orders basically mm, here we are but we need it only for the first order this match this condition should be same as this condition uh, for only for the first user if you see here for for this user uh, user 2 so here the order date is same as um, uh, the delivery date but this is not the first order the first order is here which the order date is different so we have to skip this um, so we also have to skip this so so we don't need this this order right we need orders like this where the order date should be same as the delivery date uh, so this is what it is so I, I hope you understood what i'm trying to say um, explore and then there, there can be another case also you can also solve this using a case statement uh, wherever there is a uh, you know you you mark this one or zero whenever this this two matches um, so based on that you can also calculate the sum and then divide by total count how many how many orders are there that is also one way let me know solve using case statement uh, which we did in previous example where we solved the previous example using case statement um, so you can also try that and let me know what you get uh, what what is your understanding in the comment section below thank you for watching